In this accessory review, we look at YCC's Luffing Fly Jib for the Liebherr LTM 1400 mobile crane. The crane has been reviewed previously, and just like the crane, this kit comes with a very good manual. And it starts off with some original specification data from the real Luffing Fly Jib. The second half of the manual deals with the kit itself, and there are some good photos of what can be assembled. There's an illustrated parts list for the main parts. And it's very good that all of the separate configuration options are detailed. That includes the Luffing Fly Jib, and it also includes the various fixed jib possibilities. Opening up the trays, and the great thing is there's no tape to cut because by removing the plastic formers at each end, you can just unlock the trays and lift the top off. And as you can see inside, all of the parts are carefully wrapped in soft paper, and that gives a real high quality feel to the presentation of the kit. In addition to the main parts, there are plenty of small parts, and they all come in individually labelled bags. Well, the parts of the kit do make very good transport loads, but let's get on and assemble the first of our jibs. This one is just a short fixed jib and the various parts fit together well. And a nice inclusion with this kit is this tool which makes it easy to line up the connection holes and also to clean out the paint from the inside. Once the parts are ready to be joined you use these tiny plastic bolts. And they are really small but they're shaped like the real thing so they look realistic. But on the flip side they can be a little bit fiddly to get in and out. However once you do get all of the pins in the jib is quite strong. So let's put this short jib on the crane and see how it looks. For the detail we'll take a closer look at some of the parts. The jib sections are nicely cast metal parts and they also have internal cross bracing at one end. The scaling is very good so various sections can telescope for transport and the castings are very straight. If we now move on and take a look at the boom top and it's a very nice part. The pendant bars on the model are all metal and nicely made. All of the pulleys on the whole kit are metal and they smoothly roll. And there's also a nice chunky roller at the boom top and that rolls as well. Also very nicely made is the pivot point and it's pretty much all metal. It's a complex part and it's all engineered very well. One particularly nice detail are these strops and they have working D shackles at each end. Another very nice part is the luffing bridle and it includes a single over large sheave. Another very nice but hard to see detail is that there are working rollers at the end of one of the frames. Something else that looks very good is the realistic mesh walkways on a number of the sections. And another thoughtful aspect of the kit is that it includes two hooks for use with the jib. Both are metal and detailed. And the single pulley block has got a nice working safety catch. So we started off with a short fixed jib, so let's look at some other possibilities. And the first one is that the jib can be cranked to an offset angle. By removing a couple of the pins then you can crank over the top of the jib. And that gives some additional flexibility when lifting at height. One thing that sets YCC models apart is the attention to detail. And on this kit even the locking bars are modelled and functional so that you can lock the cranked jib in place. A different possibility is to use the super lift attachment with the fixed jib. And again, various different configuration options are possible. Now we will move on and assemble a luffing jib. Yes, that's a luffing jib, not a laughing jib. This is no joke. Anyway, here we have the parts for a scale 35 meter long jib. And as if by magic, we've assembled it together and attached it to the boom head. There is a piece of handrail to add, and that's a metal part that just presses into place on one of the frames. There needs to be some rope on the luffing winch, and if you didn't install that on the base model, another spool is helpfully provided. To begin with, we'll just unwind a bit of thread from the winch. Now, reeving up is often a challenge, and the best way to do it here is up in the air. 
So that means tying off the jib so nothing can move and always keeping a weight on the end of the thread. At the bottom there's also a moving pulley block so the best way to deal with that is to use some plastic putty and keep it in place. After that it's just a matter of following the reeving diagram in the manual and this particular reeving operation is only moderately challenging. Once it's all installed and tied off we can take away our plastic putty and with the jib set to the angle that you want you can then reinstall the counterweights. So with that done we've now got the crane rigged with a fairly short 35 meter luffing jib. For longer jibs you need to install an independent tie to the pendant bars. And here's the model now rigged with a scale 56 meter jib. But this kit is comprehensive so you can have a scale 84 meter jib. And so fully extended it can be 2.7 meters or 9 feet tall. This is another piece of precision engineered modeling by YCC. Just like the crane model, this jib tries to be realistic and authentic to the real machine. And it certainly succeeds because of its quality and attention to detail. Once again, if you want the very best of model crane engineering, this kit is certainly outstanding. <laughs>